Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. In today's video I'm going to be doing a what I eat in a day post chemotherapy. So I've been really trying to implement some more healthy recipes, some more healthy foods, mainly more vegetables, maybe some more fruit to try and see if that can help with my fatigue. So I thought I would just bring you along today, show you what I'm eating. Obviously it's not going to be the exact same every day but I do have consistently been eating um, similar breakfasts and similar lunches and um, dinner is pretty much different most of the time but yeah so I'm gonna just get right into it I'm probably I think it's just gonna be a voiceover for this and then at the end I want to show you some of the snacks that I like to have um, I just thought that'd be kind of a cool way because I do eat different foods every day so maybe just show you the snacks that I tend to gravitate towards. Um, so yeah, so if you enjoy this kind of video, give it a like, comment on this video, and subscribe if you're, or if you're not, and let's get into it. Okay, starting off with breakfast, I decided that I wanted to have a smoothie this morning, so I got my bag of frozen fruits, so first I'm adding in some strawberries and then some frozen pineapple and then the smallest amount of banana because I'm not a fan of banana but it makes the smoothie really creamy and then cherries and then I'm trying this new uh, protein it's in the flavor birthday cake and I like it, but it's very, very powerful. So keep in mind if you purchase this, I can't really taste any of the fruit actually. Um, and then I used almond milk as the liquid and I just poured that in there. And then I put the lid on. I use a Ninja blender and it's really good. So this was actually like a single serve cup but it also comes with like with a bigger um, cup and then something like a food processor I guess so I put that on the blender and I blended that up and then here's my smoothie I've been really loving this combination and I think now with this new protein powder I can do different combinations and even if I don't really love the fruit maybe um, I think it's been a good way to help me get in some extra fruit because I don't know the chemo has been kind of messing with my taste buds and I'm not really loving fruit at the moment so I think maybe that'll help and then I was also feeling like having something to actually chew so I took I took some of those peanut butter oat balls and it was delicious. So for lunch, I decided I wanted to make a big salad, so I air fried some turkey bacon. Now, you don't have to use turkey bacon, but I find this really like adds a lot of flavor and it keeps me full. So I put that on for six minutes and then I flip it and also put it on for additional six minutes on the other side in the air fryer. And I love using the air fryer. Um, if I could only have one kitchen gadget, I think it would be an air fryer. And then the second one would probably be a blender. But anyways, so as I was waiting for my bacon to cook up, I started getting my salad ready. So here I'm using a kale mix and arugula from Costco. And then I shredded up some cabbage the other day using my blender. I promise I'm not trying to sell you this blender, but um, it has a food processor so it makes doing all this meal prep really easily so I also put in some shredded carrot that I also used the food processor attachment with and put that in my salad and yes I know there's a lot of plastic bags here but that's all we had and then I also cut up some cucumber And I got my mom to wash it. 
don't really know why there's so much plastic on cucumbers, it's kind of annoying. But anyways, I cut up the cucumber once it was washed and I threw that in my salad. And then once the bacon was done, I took it out and crumbled it. Sometimes I have trouble being patient and it's still really warm, but that's okay. And so I ripped it up into little pieces and put it in my bowl. Sometimes I will do two pieces, but on this day um, I was hungry, so I did three pieces. And it tastes really good in the salad, like I've mentioned before. And then for the dressing, I actually use a homemade dressing that I make myself. Um, it's just tahini, lemon juice, lime juice, a little bit of maple syrup, and garlic powder. And sometimes I will put a little bit of water to thin it down. So I just drizzled that over and then I take some tongs and I mix that around to make sure that the whole salad is evenly coated. And there's my salad. And so in the afternoon around like 3 p.m. is when I like start to get kind of hungry. Actually, this snack was a little bit after lunch. I was craving something sweet. So I have these black bean brownies that my mom made and they are so good. It, it kind of sounds weird using black beans, but it, you can't taste the beans at all. And this might be a little bit too much information, but there's a lot of fiber in these so they can help keep you regular. And then around 3 o'clock, like I said, is when I usually get hungry, so I had some strawberries and one of those coconut chocolate banana cookies I showed in a video before. And that satisfied me until dinner. So for dinner on this night, my mom actually barbecued. She barbecued some chicken Slovakia skewers. And she also barbecued some um, vegetables. So she barbecued peppers and also zucchini. But here it's only showing the peppers, but there's also zucchini. And then also I had a couple of other things that were left over. So we had a leftover spring roll, some leftover buffalo cauliflower bites, and these leftover smashed potatoes, which, oh my goodness, are so amazing. But those were leftovers, and I just decided that I wanted to have those with my dinner, so that's what I had. And then on the side I had this like chipotle sauce for the potatoes, which was really good. So I had dinner, and I'm realizing now that this video is probably really short, so... I'm not sure what I'm going to have for a snack. I usually have a snack before I go to bed. Um, but I had another one of those black bean brownies. So I might just stick with that, but I might have something else later. But I thought it would be kind of fun to show um, my snack stash, like this kind of snacks that I have on hand. I obviously don't eat all of these all the time, but I like healthier sort of snacks and like finding new snacks so anyways i'm going to show you those so this is in my office so i have this little mini fridge that i used to have at school but now i have it here and we store extra drinks and then i have those black bean brownies in there and the cookies that i showed earlier and then up here i have this basket of I would say mostly like different kinds of chips, sort of like salty snacks and this lasts a long long time, like I've had these for a while. So I got these carrot sticks, I've never tried them, they were a free gift when I ordered um, 
from Natro Market I like to order a lot of snacks from, so they gave me this free gift from my last purchase. These maple cinnamon chickpeas. I've had a few of them, a handful, but I'm not sure how I feel about them yet, but I have those. And then I tried these. They're barbecue sort of little chips and they're gluten-free, dairy-free, which is what I look for. I try to minimize the amount of gluten and dairy because I just think it um, makes me feel better. But like I've said before, if um, something has gluten or dairy in it once in a while, I'm okay with that. These pretzels are from, they're grain-free pretzels. Um, what's the brand? Uh, I think it was called FitJoy. They're really good. So I have a little bit of those left. And then these paleo puffs are really good. I haven't actually tried the cheese ones. Well, cheese. Um, but I have a bag of those to try. And then I have the Himalayan pink salt. And then I think I have one that's already open. But they were on sale, so that's why I have a few of them. And then these are really good. They are by the brand Made Good. And they're kind of, they remind me of... Um, what are they called? Goldfish. But these are in the pizza flavor and they're really good. And my mom actually bought me another one for my birthday. So, got those. And then I have these two types of chips from this same brand, Rice Works. And I've been using them, like, if I want to have nachos. So, I have those in there. And then, this is kind of like my sweet slash chocolate little goodie thing so i have some smart sweets here we get um the smart sweets at costco that's why there's so many um just because like they're cheaper and i like them so those last a long time um and then we also get these from costco these almond butter cups and these little keto chocolate almond things that like this and I like to take those to chemo or if I'm just craving a little bit of chocolate not keto but I just really like those and then these oh my goodness these are beautiful they're heavenly hunks and we get the bag from Costco again and they're a bit dangerous but I control myself and then I also have these in case I ever want, you know, a lollipop. I don't usually reach for these too often. I've had these for a while, but if I'm in the mood, there's only one gram of sugar in them, which I try to make sure I don't eat too much added sugar because I think that just makes me feel really tired and contributes to my fatigue. So yeah, just thought I'd show you those. I don't think I mentioned this at the beginning or anywhere in this video, but I'm not being restrictive, not counting calories, nothing. I'm just eating what makes me feel good. I've been trying to implement some more healthy recipes lately to see if that helps with the fatigue. But like I said, I'm on chemo, so I'm gonna eat what makes me feel good, what makes me feel happy. And I think that's how we should approach life, you know? So I guess I eat intuitively, but I really love chocolate and I really love snacks so I do want to edit this video so I'm going to end it here so I really hope that you enjoyed this video and if you're new to my channel subscribe to my channel like this video if you enjoyed it and thank you so much for being here and thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one